My name is Jean Thiel, and I am a spiritual director and lay minister for the Saginaw Diocese. And as a spiritual director, I have found the labyrinth to be a great tool, um, in addition to all the other things we have in our faith, to create space to invite God uh, into our hearts and to take a look at more deeply who we are in relationship with our loving God. So when you come in to walk the labyrinth, um, off to the right in the room is a desk that has some candles on it, some scripture, a pamphlet um, that describes the labyrinth and a little bit of the history. You can take a look at that. Um, and then there's also some prayers that you can do before entering the labyrinth. Um, one of the things that we recommend, if you would like, is to take a candle and you can have that candle represent yourself or it can be a candle that represents someone else that you maybe miss or would like to have a journey with. And you take that along the walk with you and you're free to take the candle back home with you if you want to take it or you can leave it on the labyrinth. A labyrinth is a meditative walk and it is generally done in the silence or with some light music as people are walking. And there is um, only one way in and one way out. And then in the center, it is representative of the center of your soul. Um, and that is where you can stop and pause and have um, a conversation with God or some reflection time. I think the labyrinth is a good Lenten prayer form because it's something that we normally don't do. And especially in the state of Michigan when it's so cold, um, we can do it inside, and um, it allows us time to get away from our routines and come into a place that's quiet and a place where we can listen. And as we're walking, um, it slows us down, it slows our thoughts down, um, and opens up a space in our heart and our body to feel the emotions maybe that we can't feel during the day.